Hi, Chris here for Tenka Tech and welcome to the channel where today I do an overview and install of AMD chipset notifier beta version. So let's get started now. I got the permission from Mr. Kerry Osman to do an overview of his program that he is making free for the beta test. Now let's see what the program is about. Just start your favorite internal browser and paste this link that you will find in the description down below or you can copy from here. Once this is done, press enter and it will bring us to d7xtech.com website here. It's Mr. Nick who made the program that was commissioned by Mr. Kerry Osman. This is the third program out of this partnership and of course you can buy the program if you want. So on this page we have the details about the program where as you can see now I'm downloading it and I will show you how to install it as soon as it is downloaded. Not here that you have a few options to install. So I will show you both. The first one that you have is to go on top right corner here, press on the three dots here and go to download. Once you click on download, you can either open the file from here if you want to or open the folder. Once you open the folder, you will find your file here. You can right click if you want, run as an administrator if you want to. Simply follow the description that you will see on the screen. But for us, I will show you now the other option. When you click on the three dot here, you open a new panel which allow you to select further actions. We will choose open and wait for the system to launch the program. After reading the agreement, accept it. Next. And once this is done, you can uncheck or check those two as you please, right? Once you make your choice, just click finish. This in turn will give us the next dialog box where we key in our serial number when we purchase the program. We can click no for now. Would you like to purchase? You can click yes if you want to, but I show you what's happened if you click no. You just tell me that there was a new version of the software. So I click yes and now it's downloading automatically the software depending on your connection and computer it might take a while it's not a big program mind you anyway once the download is 100 percent completed you will see the process is fully automated and it will even self-extract itself so you don't have to locate the amd program that it downloaded for you that's why i think that this is a great tool thank you mr carey and no this is not a sponsored video so we will go through the process of installing the AMD software. It is pretty painless as you can see. This is the AMD software itself. So if you follow my video, you know what to do here. You can select or deselect whichever tabs you want to install or not. Then simply click install. We will go through the process. I will speed it up here because there is uh, no much to, to that. And I already made a few videos about this special portions. What we are interested in today, it's Mr. Carey's beta software. I speed it up until we restart the system. So I take this opportunity to let you know guys that it is worth investing in this program because as it is for now, AMD for the Ryzen systems, I'm not speaking about graphic cards, are not able to update their driver themselves. This is up to you. If you don't mind checking every now and then, this is up to you. But for me, I think it is worth it. Now we are restarting, you can see that the system, every time you will restart, until you purchase the product, this will pop up. And that's what the message says. If you want to get rid of it, you can simply buy the program. For now, we click no and we click no again. But if you want to buy it, it's the time. You can see, once I click yes, the pop-up will give you a few options to choose from. If you want to show your appreciation, you can even choose other amounts. Even if you want to pay by credit card or PayPal, we will select continue with payment and see what this looks like. Once we are here, we can notice that they advise you strongly to install the product and try it before you purchase, which we assume there will be no refund. And it's understandable. For example, a thousand if you want to be very generous. <laughs> in my ringgit Malaysian, I don't tell you how much that is. Anyway, and if you put the amount which is below five dollars, this is good because they even let you know. Once you key it in and click next, you are then presented with the usual checkout page. So nothing new here. And note that they say that it's a secure connection. So we can now close these windows and see what's next. And that's the way I'm going to show you how to start if you don't have the shortcut on the desktop. You go to start menu 
and you look for Uncle Scary's software. Incidentally, this is the first on the list because we just installed it, right? You can see our software is up to date here. Now, if you do not want to have this message when you start the computer, okay, on the website, they do tell you how to remove the software. However, I do not advise you to remove the software, all right, because it's very useful. And you can see that this time here, it tells me that I have an update. So let's see what the process is for an update. I click OK. Basically, you just have to wait. Don't be too impatient like I am here because we don't know what's happening here. There is no statues. Nothing appears. Huh? This is in real time. So while waiting, you saw that I put the link for Mr. Carrie's YouTube channels. Feel free to look at it as well. It's very instructive, right? As you can see, I want to be fast, but it doesn't help. Yes, I know. <laughs> OK, uh, now it's done. So we just have to click OK now and restart the system and see what has changed. But before that, I will show you one thing that you can do if you do not want the pop up every time you restart your computer. It's as simple as pressing the window key and eye on your keyboard. This brings the settings window there. Type start and choose startup app. Once you are here, go to Uncle's Carries AMD chipset modifier and turn it on. We can now close this window. And don't worry, we can always start up the program with a shortcut here or by going to start as I showed you earlier. And to show you that it works, that's how it is. Right? So we click no, no, no. Yes, I know. Uh, they just tell us that uh, we are up to date, all right? Although it would be nice to have a link maybe to uh, D7X Tech or to Mr. Carrie's inquiry line, you know, just to click it. But anyway, so now we are going to restart the computer and see what's happening when we restart the computer. So yes, Mr. Carrie uh, did make a book, as you can see here, and for Mr. Nick, they also have a TV show online, so you can go and have a look as well. And for my subscribers, do not worry, next week I will continue our Arduino series, of course. Hey, there it restarts. So, as you saw, we restarted and there is no pop-up. But I can still, if I want to, go here. Of course, in our purpose, I will click no and I will click no. Alright, but the software still check if your AMD chipset is up to date and click OK. As I was saying, there is no reason for you to uninstall the application. Just go into the startup folder and disable the app to start, but you can still launch it if you want to check. However, I do recommend you to simply go and buy it. I hope that was useful to you and uh, when the app will launch, I will then let you know. I thanks Mr. Curry and uh, Mr. Nick also for creating the software. That is it for today. And just to let you know, I started the Patreon where if you want, you can support me. And again, if you enjoy it, you know what to do. You can do your YouTube things like if you want to subscribe. You may as well. Or you can also press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me why it's so. I will try to improve for you guys. Stay safe and bye now!